welcome back to Matt's Green Bum. Um, today we are going to look at something a little bit different. It's not so green, it's a little bit brown. Today we're going to look at the ramp at the front of the house because uh, we have a problem with water getting into our basement. So today we're going to pressure wash, fill in the cracks and maybe do some sealing. Let's get into it. Right, so here we are at the front on the ramp. Um, let's see what we've got here. Today, tools we're going to use, cartridge pressure washer. This is K4 Premium. I'm not going to use the super duper blast head because also as I said, we've got water coming in the basement so I'm just going to use the box standard head and uh, see where we get. So, let's get cracking. better all right next thing to do we need to fill the cracks in I had to think then um, so let's get on with that now then to mix up the cement that we're going to use uh, we've got some quick set um, and it's uh, four parts to one so it's one part of this so we get one well get one half trowel to full part sand. What we have some bit of sand here. Then once that's all mixed up, we start adding the water bit by bit. And then we're ready to uh, to put some down. So uh, let's grab a look. We're going to start on this little hole down here so I've got basically like a plasterer's trowel I'm going to get on with the rest and I'll see you when I'm done. Right, we've got most of the major cracks uh, filled in. Have a look. What we've got to do now is wait for, wait for these to dry. Then once all that's dried, we can apply the sealer. So the sealer I'm going to use is a silicon base, so it's non-solvent. Um, what it should do is penetrate uh, the top layer of the concrete and form a hydrophobic barrier. Don't expect it to completely stop the water we get here, um, but it should help. Um, and then what I can do is take the roof down in the basement and just see, try and see what's coming from. But taking the ceiling down in there isn't a small job. So uh, leave that to dry. So I'm not going to apply the seed in now, I'll probably wait until tomorrow. Um, so I'll catch up with you then. Bye bye. So, welcome back to today. We have our water seal and we have our jar to go on our water sprayer. So, uh, water sprayer, paint sprayer, whatever, get English, right? Um, let's fill this up and we'll get it on the sprayer. Got it on the sprayer. Um, now this sprayer is one well, I just picked up from B&Q. Uh, using the large, large bowl today. Just make sure we adjust the screw so not too much comes out. So I don't know how, don't know how quickly this is going to come out yet. So uh, let's give it a whirl. Right. Unfortunately, I did all that, and it looks like it didn't record. Um, brilliant. Uh, so no time lapse, but I can show you. What it's like. It just looks wet. Okay. Oh, take a couple of hours to dry and once that's 
once it's dry hopefully that should give a little bit more protection from the water um, so that's that but as you can see all the grass needs cutting uh, so for this video I'm gonna call it quits now I'll keep you posted as to how it goes speak to you later goodbye